Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a breakthrough for all my NAFLD and Nash warriors out there. The FDA just approved the first ever medication specifically designed to treat Nash. It's called Resmeterum, and it's sold under the brand name Resdifra by a biotech company called Madrigal Pharmaceuticals. Now, this is huge news. Before Resmeterum, we've been managing Nash only with lifestyle changes like diet and exercise, which are still super important. But Resdifra offers a whole new approach. Let's take a step back. In AFLD, or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, is an umbrella term for excess fat buildup in your liver, not caused by alcohol. NASH, which stands for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, is a more serious form of NAFLD. With NASH, you also have inflammation and liver cell damage, which can lead to scarring, fibrosis, and even cirrhosis. Okay, now on to Resdifra. It's specifically designed to tackle NASH, but there are some key things to know. In this video, we will provide answers to some key questions about Resdifra or Resmeterum that you may have. Question 1. Can I get it where I live? Great question. Resdifra was just approved in the U.S. on March 14, 2024. So, if you're in USA, it might take some time to reach all pharmacies. It may still take more time for insurance companies to approve the drug. But talk to your doctor. They can help you find out where to get it. If you're outside USA, unfortunately, you will have to wait a little longer as Resdifra is not approved outside of USA so far. Question 2. Is it approved for cirrhosis? That's a great question. It's important to understand the distinction. Resdifra is currently approved for NASH with moderate to advanced fibrosis, stages F2, F3. Fibrosis is scarring, but cirrhosis is the most severe stage of liver damage. Resdifra is not currently approved for cirrhosis, but research is ongoing to see if it can benefit people at different stages of NASH. Question 3. Okay then, is it approved for just fatty liver? Unfortunately, Resdifra is not yet approved for fatty liver without fibrosis. If you have NAFLD and not yet NASH, you can reverse it without the need for a medicine. It's better to change your diet and lifestyle now and get better before you get into the fibrosis stage. See the video on 10 steps to reverse fatty liver. The link is provided in the description. Question 4. Is it safe for me? Safety is key. Resdifra is new, so long-term data is still coming in. It's important to discuss this with your doctor, especially if you have other health conditions or are on other medications. They'll know if it's the right fit for you. Question 5. What age group is it approved for? Can kids take it? Currently, Resdifra is only approved for adults and not for kids. But research is always evolving, so stay tuned for updates. We recommend that you like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the information as soon as it's available. Question 6. How is Resmeterum administered? Resdifra comes as a tablet that you take by mouth, once a day. Easy. Question 7. What kind of things should be avoided while taking Resdifra? While Resdifra is a great tool, it's not a magic bullet. Resdifra is recommended to be taken along with a healthy diet and exercise regimen. Hence, you should still avoid things that can worsen NASH, like sugary drinks, simple carbs, processed foods, excessive alcohol. Question 8. Is Resmeterum contraindicated with certain other medications or health conditions? This data is currently unknown, however, there can be interactions with other medications, so be sure to tell your doctor about everything you're taking. They can advise you on potential risks and whether Resdifra is right for you. Please note that while FDA has approved Resmeterum, insurance companies are still evaluating the cost of the medicine. Hence, it may be a while longer before the medication becomes available through your insurance plan. Remember, this video is all about getting you informed. If you think Resmeterum might be the right medicine for your NASH, Schedule an appointment with your doctor. They can give you personalized advice based on your specific situation. Hope you found this information helpful. Please like and subscribe.